Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. I will just continue from where I left off in the previous one. So I have a live capture here in progress. I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel it and now I will take from it what I need. So the next command that we're gonna use again is arrow dump dash ng but we will use it in combination with a few more arguments in order to conduct a more precise scan in order to conduct a more precise capture so that we may achieve that four-way handshake which we need so desperately in order to do this. So go ahead and type in air, uh, air, uh, air dump but if you don't know the exact command, you don't need to memorize it. Uh, just do what I did. Type in air, and then type in tab, then press tab twice fast. If it doesn't work twice, press it thrice. However many times you need it, just press it really fast. And then the terminal will actually tell you what your possibilities are. What we need is arrow dump, and this is the command that we need. So just go ahead and type in O, tabify it again. Uh, it will give you fewer options dump dash ng, that's it. One of the first things that we're going to need to do is specify a channel, the channel on which my wireless is functioning at the moment that I've configured for this particular exercise is channel 6. So channel 6 and what is the BSS ID? This is the BSS ID. Uh, don't try to retype it or something like that. Copy paste it just to be sure because if you miss a single, a single character here uh, you're gonna be in a world of problems primarily because you will achieve nothing and there will be no capture or anything of a kind. Now we need a file to write to. I will name my scan uh, scan uh, underline test because I'm pretty sure that I, I usually name them scans uh, that's why I want to distinguish one as test just in case I have some of the files here written as well. And then the final thing that I'm going to need is this BSSID. I haven't actually typed it in here, BSSID. Uh, that was a bit neglect. That was a, uh, it shouldn't go here, sorry. So just go ahead, copy it. We'll just reformat this a little bit. I'm pretty sure it would work like this as well, but we always want to make our code neat and clean so that it can be seen and understood. This is primarily done for troubleshooting purposes because uh, when you have commands and text and code spread around, you can't really figure out what is where. Maybe you can in that moment, but try doing it the next day. You will you will absolutely lose yourselves. I do anyway. Perhaps it doesn't work the same for everyone. Uh, go ahead and press enter. Okay, what does it say? No interface specified. So every time you do this, you actually do need to specify an interface. Mine is VLP2S0. That is my wireless interface that is currently in monitor mode. So press enter. And there we go. We have a scan in progress and I have another device that is hooked up. Uh, this, that's this device. It's BSSID and station. Station is a device that is connected to this access point. Uh, you will not be able to perform this method if you do not have any stations that are connected to a certain access point or are associated with it. Uh, this is because you have nothing to deauthenticate. There is nothing conducting the authentication process which you can capture. Uh, we will at the moment be deauthenticating this device and this is also a method that you can use in order to perform a DOS attack on wireless networks guaranteed to work. Uh, Actually, I'm really surprised that the DOS, that the wireless networks are so vulnerable to this. Pretty much any any wireless in the city or any wireless in a building or something of a kind will be vulnerable to this, and you will be able to deauthenticate pretty much everybody, even in a university or something of a kind. It is susceptible to misuse, but I would like to ask you, since I am doing this for educational purposes, not to do that. Uh, primarily because, as I've stated before at the beginning of this tutorial, you can you can achieve your purpose and you can make a profit without doing anything against the law. Anyway, that being said, uh, we need to use air, air, uh, AI replay dash ng and this is used for deauthentication purposes. So let's just go ahead and type it in. Air. Once again, I just tabify it because there's no point to risk anything replay dot dash ng. Uh, what I want to do is pass an argument of dash zero and then I'm going to give it the zero again. I will explain in a moment what these are. Dash a and the MAC address of the of the access point. We don't need the BSSID flag there. 
Anyway, uh, these two arguments state the basically this argument states the amount of the authentication the authentication transmissions that you wish to send. Uh, if you put a zero in, it sends it into an infinite loop. Basically, you will permanently be deauthenticating pretty much uh, the, every device on this particular MAC address. Uh, that is, all the devices that are trying to associate themselves with a wireless access point on this MAC address. Uh, people, you can put, for example, if you want to temporarily disrupt connections, you can type in here 10 or 9 or 9 or something like that. There are even options to deauthenticate de particular clients. But for the time being, I'm just going to send a general deauthentication request. Uh, transmission actually, this will deauthenticate everybody on this particular wireless access point since it is my since it is my wireless access point, I don't really care. I do have only one device associated with it, and that device will shortly be disconnected. Now, if you wish to verify this, you can connect your cell phones or smartphones, and you can connect them to your Wi-Fi access points within your houses or apartments or whatever. And then you can try performing a DOS attack on yourself to see how it works. It, it, it'll be a fantastic exercise. If you have any troubles, feel free to ask me in the question section, but uh, it should work. The procedure is exactly the same what I'm doing now. You will then notice that the Wi-Fi connection on your phone is breaking. So when that starts happening, when the deauthentication requests start being sent, try accessing some sort of a website through your, cell, through your cell phone, whichever one you have. I don't know if it's Android or iPhone or something of a kind. Just try doing it. You will see that you can because there is something obstructing your connection. You are no longer uh, associated with that access point. That, that is quite problematic. I would recommend doing that as that's a fantastic exercise. You cannot cause any damage as soon as the deauthentication request stop, your connection will be restored. So let's just go ahead and I can still press enter because I need to actually type in the interface. Uh, this is one of the downsides of Aircrack. I would definitely suggest that they change this so you don't have to type in the interface every single time. But th that being said, excellent. I am sending uh, the authentication to broadcast uh, BSSID. There you go. It's 90 and excellent. I, yep, I have definitely lost my wireless and on all of my devices pretty much or on the device that I have connected to this wireless access station. And you see, you can't, you cannot just leave it running like this. You can just leave it running for a while, just to make sure that you have deauthenticated the device, because you cannot see the device that you are deauthenticating. Uh, you don't know if you've deauthenticated it, so just let it, let it run for a while. No problems there. You won't lose anything. Uh, prior, at a certain point of time, after a couple of minutes, probably less, you can go ahead and cancel it due to the proximity. I can go ahead and cancel it now and my device will try to reconnect in an automatic fashion to see will it be able once it does that i will capture that authentication and it should work just fine in a moment we should get a four-way handshake in the upper in the upper right corner there we go it says vpa handshake for this MAC address. At this point of time, you can just go ahead and stop the capture process as there is really no no longer a point to do it. We have gotten what we needed. It's all here. In the next, in the next tutorial, we will take tear apart a file which we have captured and see what we can do with it, how we can actually uh, crack it. That That is the difficult part of it all. Capturing traffic is not a problem. Uh, Finding the wireless network, uh, wireless access point is not a problem. The problem is cracking the encryption itself. Now, just keep in mind what I've said in the beginning. I want to mention this one more time before I wrap this tutorial up. You must absolutely have at least one device that is associated with this BSSID. Of course, if there are more devices, the better for you. But you must at least have one. And if there are lots of devices, you might consider a different denial of service attack uh, to deauthenticate them. You shouldn't probably deauthenticate them all, select a few and leave a few running. So I don't know, like if you have 10 or 20 of them, usually there are in a lot of Wi-Fi access points, you can select five of them. So if just five of them don't work, they'll 
they'll usually look to the person next to them or something like that and they'll, they'll see that it's working for them and that it's not working in, on their devices but that it is working on the devices on the person next door or the person sitting next to them so the con general conclusion that pretty much everybody draws from that oh it has to be something it has to have something to do with my device probably it's not working or something of a kind I will I will go over this in great detail in when I go into denial of service but for the time being just know that that is an option in any case I bid you farewell and I sincerely hope to see you in the follow-up tutorial where we'll where we will actually crack the code <laughs>